All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we are live. I'm here with General Jared. How you doing, Jared? I'm doing all right, mate. Just seriously, though, fuck this pay-per-view. Fuck it. You know, Jerry, I was planning on watching Clash of Champions and then, like, stop watching the product or whatever. And then I thought to myself, fuck it, this card looks like shit. I'm not excited for this pay-per-view. I'm going to stop watching right now. <laughs> fuck waiting for this card. And I don't feel like watching this piece of shit, Jerry. Um, Alicia Fox versus Nia Jax. Oh, for God. Hey, we're off to a good start here, Double J. <laughs> You know, is this what I should be worshipping wrestling for, Jerry? Oh, my God, Nia Jax. Some big, fat, giant woman. She's related to Rock there. I need to worship these wrestlers, Jerry. What do you think when you hear about this match? There? We haven't seen Alicia Fox on TV in how long? A year, maybe? Uh, the, what, looking at this match wants to give me syphilis. Um, it's fucking terrible. Um, I, I, I honestly like, like this is a pre-show, or whatever. But like, I mean, come on, like some pre-shows at least were like some decent tag matches. This is just gonna be a fucking five-minute fucking squash match. You know what I mean? And Alicia Fox hasn't been irrelevant well since ever. So I don't know why she's on there. I mean. If they're trying to build this Nia Jax woman up, then at least they're going to have to put her in with a with a big competitor. And also, if they're backing this woman, Nia Jax, is the next big women star, then why the fuck is she on a pre-show? Why 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 is she not on the main card? It's just it's ridiculous. Um, but that being said, I really couldn't give a fuck about this fucking match at all. Sami Zayn versus Chris Jericho. This might turn out to be an okay wrestling match there. Um, but uh, look at the storyline for this feud. It's based around Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn used to be his friend. Chris Jericho is now his friend. And uh, Here's your match, you know. It might turn out to be an okay match, but why the fuck should I care about it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no reason to give a fuck about this crap. It's... Um, Go ahead. Like Chris Jericho, he's like a Santino Morello right now. <laughs> you know what uh. I mean? Like, I don't know... You know, I know he's leaving soon, so that's one star that's going to be missing from the show there. Um, but, like, they're just treating him like a Santino. They could have used Jericho for bigger and better things while he's still there, you know. Instead, it's throwaway trash like this, Jared. This, this should be, like fucking a mid-card match on raw or something this isn't like pay-per-view worthy even you know it's yeah. just filler there it's not what even raw worthy really <laughs> to be fair like it's not even raw worthy what do you think it is jerry are you gonna be marking out for jericho claiming he's the best he's ever been are you gonna laugh because he says the word it jerry Oh, God. I don't know, dude. Just the fucking story's just garbage. And, you know, Zami Zayn, like, his character hasn't even been established. I mean, if they're going to do this, like, I think the whole Chris Jericho thing, just cut this Kevin Owens crap out and just have Chris Jericho have a legitimate feud with Zami Zayn. Give this fucking ginger cunt some character. But they're not doing it. He's just walking around dancing like a complete and utter twat. And uh, Zami Zayn's now, oh, you're Chris, you're Kevin Owens' friend, you know. In any other real-life circumstances, if that happened to you, you'd say, well, fuck off, and I'll see you later on, and just walk away. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> you know what I mean? You got fucking Zami Zayn here, this ginger twat, trying to fucking wrestle fucking Chris Jericho, and it makes no, no sense in a storyline. It's not even entertaining. If they were going to do this, have proper heel Jericho, not this goofy fucking mustache guy with a fucking list you know 
knocked that in the head. If they actually did something, try and do something legitimate with Chris Jericho and Zami Zayn, I'd be okay with it. But this isn't going to further Zami Zayn's character. It isn't going to help Chris Jericho. It doesn't help anyone. Nobody gives a shit, WJ. I'd say fucking... I'd say fucking just put Zami Zayn in a golf course for fuck's sake. That's what I say. Zami Zayn has no character. All it is is a I'm an indie guy, you know, and yeah signature moves i just think it's annoying they're that kick all oh, blue whatever bomb there <clears throat> it's, all, it's all nerdy bullshit you know what i mean um tj perkins versus brian kendrick the cruiserweights jared this is the big time here Nobody gave a fuck about cruiser weights, but now this is treated like it's main event stuff. They're, the fans are pretending to mark out, Jerry. It's cruiser weights. Um, it might be an okay match, TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick, but how come we're pretending to mark out for brian kendrick there jerry i don't understand what happened overnight brian kendrick was just a, a mid carter and nobody gave a shit about him before this tournament thing nobody ever gave a shit about him but you attach the word cruiserweight and suppose and now it's uh, it's like Mike Tyson against Holyfield. This match it's, it's big time. Like uh, Floyd Mayweather, T.J. Perkins, suicide from TNA that we never gave a flying fuck about. But with the the word cruiserweight, fuck you, man! Don't you dare talk against the cruiserweights. I care about this with all my heart since yesterday. I mean. So anybody who comes in that's a jobber, they can put the word cruiserweight and people will mark out now. Is that it? Match might be okay, but it's Brian Kendrick. You know, <laughs> why should I give a shit? <laughs> There's no story behind this at all. Why would people pay money for this? They're Brian Kendrick. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> that this is in the fucking pay per view. This is fucking you know superstars or something. <laughs> I was <about> to say that. <laughs> and wasn't there an article jerry that they're supposed to hold them back now the cruise yeah. awaits yeah there was um ward and i basically saying that um that they're actually now going to be um like watering down it so they're only going to be on for like a few minutes now and everyone was like, I can't believe it. Why are they doing this? The Cruiserweights need to be on the main show, main event. Well, that's because motherfuckers, it, the ratings went down when they fucking had the Cruiserweights. That's why, you fucking idiots. And Nobody did you see TJ Perkins on the Raw pre-show? This guy was like fucking no charisma at all. <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like a ramp boy. It looks like, so <laughs> awkward when they were talking to him there. Yeah, I'm a wrestler. It, it doesn't even look good. Like, I mean, I don't, like, I'm looking at, like, I honestly, I, like, I have to be honest, and I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying it, I didn't watch the Cruiserweight thing. I didn't watch that program because, you know, you know, I have other things to do. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't watch it at all, and I didn't really know this uh, TJ Perkins guy or whatever. But, like, like uh, you know, it, it just, you know, why should I give a shit? You know what I mean? Give me a reason. Like, if they're going to have him versus Brian Kendrick, then you just could at least have, like, a backstory or or something, anything. But the thing is with these cruiserweights is that, yes, they're great in the ring. Yes, it's fantastic wrestling. I'm sure it's going to be a great match. But at the end of the day, why should you care? There's no reason to care. These guys are just fighting for the sake of of fighting. You know what I mean? And I understand it's for the uh, Cruiserweight Championship, um, but they need like a little bit of maybe a backstory or something like that, you know, add a little bit of story in. You know, it's like, honestly, I, I don't even know what to say, WJ, I have to be honest with you, I'm just lost for words. And, you know, I'm sure the match itself is going to be great, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's going to be great, but honestly, I, I, really, I really don't give a shit. I really I think don't it's care. It's going to be an average match that 
people are going to claim it's great, but really yeah. it's, it won't be that, that great, yeah. you know? <laughs> Overhyping the shit out of it. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen with this cruiserweight shit there. Cesaro versus Shane. Oh, Jesus. Has Fuck there ever man. been a more boring program than this there? Fuck. You know? <laughs> like probably Did they win the, anything? Most, the most boring uh series of matches that I've ever witnessed there. <laughs> Cesaro would like does he need to have 30 injuries for this feud like a bunch of fake injuries just to, so that Sheamus had the chance to win a few matches Cesaro with his stupid tape around him there the tape on the shoulder, the tape on his back just looks fucking stupid there. And if, if, if they do any more matches, he's going to look like the mummy from The Mummy Returns, for God's sake. But, um, but yeah, all in all, like, I mean, Cesaro even said he was like, um, he did like a business call, I think it was like yesterday or the day before it, and people were turning around saying about his promo ability, and Cesaro said that he's actually quite good on the mic, it's just that they don't give him a chance. And, uh, you know, I kind of like Cesaro. Um, don't get me wrong, though. By no means is he, like, excellent on the microphone. But I think that they should give him more of a chance. Um, but this cesaro Sheamus thing has gone on lo way, way, way too long. Way too long. Um, I, I, WJ, do they win anything after this? Or is this I all... I think it's, it's like, for a title shot or something like that there. But all right. the, the matches aren't even good. But they're just, like, mediocre. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, super mediocre matches there. New Day versus Gallows and Anderson. Um, pretty much it's just been lame comedy for the past couple months. They've had to to go on television and say, oh, forget about the skit from last week that was terrible and, you know, very shit material there. They've already wrestled a bunch of times. At this point, I don't give a shit about this. I don't care who wins, fuck. I, I, is this the, the, the new day, look, Gallows, Carl Anderson thing. I haven't seen much of it. I've seen little clips and I've seen with the jars and the, the kind of the, the doctor kind of gimmick or whatever. And it's just, as, it, it's not, it's just not funny. It's as funny as a mass card. It's as funny as a goddamn funeral. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's shit. It's garbage. The new day. And I said this, and everyone was like, "Oh, Jerry, why are you complaining about the new day?" Remember that video I did, the fucking, um, nearly the start of this year. Everyone said, "Oh, oh, no, we're not gonna get sick of the new day." And look now, motherfuckers, everyone's sick of them now. Everyone is completely sick of them. I'm sick of this feud. Um, if they are gonna do something good for this, make sure these three twats with their fucking dickheads on, lose this belt. But they're not WJ. I know they're not. They want to beat that demolition record. And if they beat demolition's record, it will be a crying goddamn shame. Because these guys, um, yes, they've done something um, where they've got themselves in like the main card. I Listen, respect to that. But they're fucking garbage. They're garbage. They're shit. They're unfunny. And uh, nobody really gives a flying crap at all. It's unmemorable. And there's people now, WJ, have you heard about this? There's been people now that are comparing New Day to DX, comparing the New Day to the NWO. It's, yes, it's gotten to that point here, folks, where the New Day are now being compared to the NWO. Let me tell you something right now. The New Day is not more memorable. They're garbage. They're unfunny. And the only reason why they still have those tag team belts is because they're selling that shitty-ass cereal and they're fucking grown men buying t-shirts. They're brony t-shirts. Charlotte versus Sasha versus Bailey. They're women, Jared. Oh. They're women, fuck. Yeah, yeah Charlotte's, just... Huh? Charlotte's a bit questionable as a woman <laughs> line, but anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I just think this is very nerdy. There, this I've lost interest in this. There, oh my god, they're such great wrestlers. These women, 
I'm, I'm just fucking bored out of my mind with this nerd bullshit there, you know. I don't give a flying fuck anymore, Jerry. It might be an okay match, but who cares, you know? We all know Charlotte's going to retain anyway. They're not going to give, they're not going to have a, t like, if they do a title change on this pay per view, with it. If they're gonna, if they were gonna do a title change, you know, they should have done it like on a main pay per view, not this pay per view. You know what I mean? And um, I think Charlotte's gonna probably retain this or whatever. But you know, Bailey, you know, don't get me wrong. The match that she and Sasha Banks had, and and I don't want to sound nerdy as well. WJ, they had a great match. Yes, fantastic, absolutely fantastic, great, right? whatever. But like, it, it's it's you know, there's no charisma with some of these women as well. Like a lot of people talk about the men. Like, some of the women, though, are basically doing what Divas did years ago. You're a bitch. You're just a hoe. Like, that's, <laughs> that's basically... So, the, everyone's turning around saying that the women's division's different when it's exactly the same as the Divas division, except for they just put the letters women in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's all smoke and mirrors. Um, you know, not to quote the Cody Rhodes song, but it's all smoke and mirrors, and... At the end of the day, this is just a complete waste. I think Charlotte's going to retain, and but I, you know, it would be good for Sasha or Bailey to win. Don't get me wrong, um, but I think that they're going to keep having the the faces chase the heels kind of deal. Um, who knows? Maybe a heel turn or something. I don't know. I really just don't give a shit. WJ really. <laughs> Tits are get the fuck out, you boring bitches. <laughs> Rusev versus Roman Reigns. Um, this this feud already fucking lost its steam before the match even happened. It's been going on like two months. They were supposed to have a match. It didn't happen. I don't fucking know there. And if Roman Reigns wins, he becomes the U.S. champ. Who gives a shit, you know? Um, yeah, I think Rusev's going to win this because I think he's going to face Kurt Angle. I think that's the only way this works out is Rusev face Kurt's, uh, faces Kurt Angle. I've seen Kurt Angle recently. He actually looks in great shape. So, you know, well, um, he actually might looks... Might turn out with Rusev being buried again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pre pretty much, yeah. But, um, but, uh, like I said, I think maybe there's going to be a thing with Lana or something and like, I'd be very surprised if, if they want something shocking, have Roman win the belt, fuck it. <laughs> if they want to do something shocking, WJ, yeah, have Roman win the fucking belt. It's, it's just going to be a cheaper version of Cena yeah. being US champ, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Owens versus Seth Rollins. Um, two guys that are world champs or whatever. By today's standards, there um, it uh, might turn out to be a decent match, but I don't think this is worthy of being a main event of a pay per view. You know what I mean? This is mid card at best. I grew up watching a whole bunch of wrestling. There, this is like, yeah, just a mid card match on Raw or SmackDown. That's you know. But now we're told that this is the big time here. This main event. This is something special, and it's not. It's just throwaway crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, fuck this whole thing with worshiping wrestlers. The way people always praise wrestlers and worship them. You look at a fucking mediocre main event like this, a lack of real star power, you can see that wrestling has nothing left. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, think, uh, I think what's going to happen here is, and this is going to be even more boring, the match itself isn't going to be great, and I'll tell you why. It's because either A, Triple H is going to be involved and he's going to interfere. Right, and then Kevin Owens is gonna win, and they'll probably have Stephanie like go back to the kind of heel kind of thing again, and then you're gonna have a rivalry between her and Mick Foley again, and Mick Foley goes, oh, "I remember seeing you when you were a kid. You were still a little girl, damn it!" <laughs> that type of fucking horse shit. Fuck off, Mick. 
I don't, I don't give a fuck. He's fucking boring now and lame Damn. as fuck. Jesus, Mick Foley. Like, like it's kind of funny. This was, this was, and I'm not, like, I have absolute respect for Mick Foley. Absolutely for what he's done um, in the past and stuff like that. But by no means is, is this, this is complete and utter garbage. You know, you got to look at what Mick Foley's doing, right? He was complaining online. Remember before they hired him, he was complaining online saying, WWE need to do this, they need to do that. And and now that he's here, um, well, he's basically doing the same thing. In fact, it's even worse, WJ. So, <laughs> um, How dare you complain about the belt? How about fuck you, you motherfucker? We'll complain about whatever we want. You brought up Mick Foley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the competitors who make the title. Uh, fuck off. Your belt look like shit. People complained about it. Get over it. Like we're supposed to sit there and uh, r fucking worship a fake red belt like it means something. Worship the competitors there. This is important. Go fuck yourself. It's. I mean, the belt itself, it, it just looks terrible as well. I mean... The Universal Championship, if you, like, just say the words WWE Universal Championship, and to me, that sounds like a mid-card belt. Universal Championship, it doesn't sound like, like, WWE Universal Championship sounds like something from E-Fed is Raw. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? uh, these belts have no fucking value, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Look at the WWE title on SmackDown. You get 1.7 rating. They have to make a match for the belt next week. And I am not going to watch that match like, on SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't even give a shit. It's supposed to be for the world title. In the old days, nothing would have prevented me from watching a WWE world title match. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't give a fuck about it. Cena against, or what is it, Ambrose against AJ Styles. Yeah. Couldn't give any less of a fuck who wins <laughs> or loses, to be honest. That's yeah. the world title. First of all, you won't get a, a title exchange there, but like fucking Dean Ambrose didn't do shit with the belt. People were turning on Ambrose and praising Cena. That's how bored the crowd was with Dean Ambrose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this Fed has nothing left to offer for me personally. Oh, Goldberg's going to come back. I never liked Goldberg to begin with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, he's going to have the match with Lesnar. That's one of the worst matches ever. It's known for being a shit match. So who cares what, what Goldberg would do? Plus, he's old. Same thing with Angle. We've seen Angle for 10 years in the... Uh, in TNA, we, we didn't give a shit, you know? Well. I don't feel like seeing uh, Kurt Angle once every six months and having to keep watching this crap there just for a Goldberg or a Kurt Angle. or You know, I don't think there's anybody left that's big time that they can bring back, you know? It's, um, I think, I think the only way I think, I know what Mania, they're going to definitely try and get The Rock again, but, you know, who really gives a fuck now? <laughs> like, really? I don't care anymore. Um, it's, um, I mean, here's the thing, right? And people are saying that Goldberg might interfere in this. They, it might happen. It might. But looking at it in a story sense, it doesn't make sense storyline-wise because, um, Stephanie's doing this thing with Mick Foley. Although they could have like Goldberg interfering someone in the match, beating up Seth Rollins. But if, if that's going to be the case, then Seth Rollins is going to have to face Goldberg at some point. You and know Seth what I mean? Seth Rollins so, is going to injure Goldberg too yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in a Hall of Fame next year. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
<laughs> fucking absolute fucking twats. <laughs> well, so let's bring back Matt Hardy. Is that how desperate we are now? <laughs> that's that's a. Uh, that's the, you know you can see that wrestling has dropped tremendously. That oh my God, Matt Hardy's gonna save WWE. You know, bring that Matt. I can't wait till they use the broken gimmick in WWE versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah. It's like don't get me wrong, Matt, Matt Hardy. I hate to say this, but Matt Hardy has more character. Oh, than he does. Story. He does. He's more character than the main champion. Like, that's how bad it's gotten, WJ. Matt fucking Hardy. Matt Hardy, the guy that the, the, the worst Hardy people always told him to be, is now more, has more charisma and more character than the main Raw and SmackDown roster. Uh, it's gotten that bad here, folks. <laughs> just doing, like, a comedy weirdo gimmick. It's better than everything in WWE, you know? And he's not even trying. He's just doing stupid shit, you know? And I want to say this, folks. I am not watching. In case you probably know already, I am not watching this. No. Um, because I know, like, I have more better things to do now than to watch a pay-per-view every two weeks. Like Especially it's, you, it's from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Yeah. over there. Yeah, and the worst thing is about this, like, there's no, like, and apparently as well, Germany have pulled their TV deal with WWE because, and um, um, I heard a lot of like other European countries aren't particularly happy with the WWE for this new format because, um, it just the timing's just terrible. You know what I mean? Um, Sky Sports, you know. They're kind of all right because they don't show anything like in the morning or whatever. Um, there's no football on or anything like that. But Sky really want to show like um, NFL stuff and whatever. But Sky have moved it to like Sky Sports 5. Not even Sky Sports 1, 2, or 3. It's Sky Sports 5, ladies and gentlemen. You know, so um, I mean, honestly, just this main event, I don't even get like – like here's the thing if it was like maybe something of me an event that that might be something that i might be looking forward to i might watch it but with this main event it's just god awful either goldberg's gonna come back and i don't know why he would interfere with kevin owens and seth rollins because you know seth rollins didn't do anything to goldberg or kevin owens um but i think it's gonna be stephanie um is gonna turn on seth rollins and triple h and mick's gonna go you were just a little girl. How could you? You looked me in the eye, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> you looked me in the eye and you said, you old beardy fucking cunt. <laughs> 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 fucking Mick Foley. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, I never keep... thought of, never thought of hear myself say I double J, but, but fuck him. <laughs> Like people are, were telling me, oh, you're going to review the show. Uh, you're going to reorder the network and get the show. I will not be watching the show. I have zero fucking interest in this pay-per-view. None. Absolutely none. Sick and tired of WWE. Sick and fucking tired, Jer. Yeah. I'll keep talking about it for my wrestling subs for as long as I possibly can there, you know, but like... Yeah, will not watch this shit anymore. I'm sick of it. And the worst thing is, is that they were saying. I seen someone commented there, and um, and uh, someone said this authority shit has gone on way too long. The thing is, they're saying that the authority's done, but pretty much it's the same thing. Like they haven't had a closure on this authority angle. You know what I mean? They're still doing this authority thing. You know, and it's just ridiculous. And you know, here's the thing. I, I don't I don't wanna like bash another channel or anything like that, but walk culture turn around saying that this is a great era to be in. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like what the fuck? Are they serious? <laughs> you know what I mean? This era is fucking super cheap, fuck. Beyond cheap. It makes wrestling look like a complete joke, you know, like before I thought that wrestling mattered, you know what I mean? 
we grow up as little kids watching it so we we think that it matters you know but this era it's like fuck this shit is just a fucking clown show doesn't matter at all and it's not even worth watching that's what this era made me realize you know no no more effort and it's just jobbers fuck and it's nerdy it has like a fucking super nerdy feel to it you know it's um it's just terrible like it's absolutely terrible like i don't think i've ever seen a bad like i mean jesus i thought 2010 was bad but my god like it's not like oh it, oh the wrestling or whatever it's there's no enthusiasm to to actually watch it like it's just completely dead and the ratings show it like there's people in denial saying well we're trying to get a new audience what audience like the key to the, the key to any company is to target your target audience all right Th there's no market in this at all like there's no market and for people to turn around and say that there is a market then well quite frankly you know they're full of crap there is no market for this nobody cares um you know whether people will like to admit it or not casual wwe guys that don't really watch it that much that only tune in to SummerSlam, mania royal rumble they're the guys that make the real money for the company they're the guys that pay for the pay-per-views to watch it and it's going to be really weird for casual fans that haven't watched wrestling like for about a year they tune on mania and you see fucking fucking what you call him tj perkins and fucking brian kendrick it's gonna be like a completely different show and it's like you know and, and i'm not saying anything bad about these wrestlers individually right you know they suck yeah but like <laughs> but <laughs> but it's just there's just no story to it like the main story right now wj is mick foley stephanie um seth rollins and kevin owens like that's not even a story that's like a tit for tat kind of deal it's going back to that authority kind of story but it's a it's not even the main authority story it's a watered down version of it where triple h just shows up wherever he wants it's 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 garbage it's garbage and you know um like if you just look at the start of raw these promos are just awful just uh, absolutely awful last week's raw the promo went on for fucking <laughs> for fucking 40 minutes if this is supposed to be the wrestling era which is supposed to, then why don't they just start a match straight away? Why don't they just do that? If this is the whole wrestling era or this new era that they want to say, then why not just cut the crap? Uh, clearly, they can't do stories. I mean, you, they've hired these Hollywood writers, right? These guys are supposed to be professionals. Me and WJ's EFED is more fucking entertaining than this garbage. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm being serious, and I have to say this. Matt from In The Rope Show, WJ, I don't think I told you this. Matt from In The Rope Show messaged me a few days ago and said, Jesus, you know Raw's bad when your fucking EFED's better than the actual me and show, for God's sake. Absolutely garbage, this show. I don't care about fucking um, Clash of Champions or Night of Champions or Night in the fucking Museum. I don't give a shit, okay? This is garbage. This pay-per-view is awful. I didn't even watch. I barely watched Backlash. I'm going to be honest with you. I barely watched it. Um, and and I, I don't even really watch the show now. And I feel as if next year is going to maybe get worse if they keep heading down this direction. WWE need to wake up, smell the coffee, and say, listen, our ratings are going down the shitter. Our main fans are turning away. Let's do something different. But the difference is, though, is that they have these guys that they've been trying to do for years to bring us up to this point, and they epically fail. So they're going to have to, essentially, if they want to reap, they can't turn back from this, WJ, as well. That's a crazy thing. They can't turn back from this because they've already signed these, a lot of these indie guys, right? They're going to have to replace the whole roster. So they can't turn back from this. A lot of people seem to think that this is a quick, easy fix. Like, well, you just put the bell on Roman Reigns or whatever. Even he, he's not even an established star. They spent more time aiming for this indie crap and not actually building characters, establishing them. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. 
Well, they just went and how many did they sign? Eight wrestlers from China or something. <laughs> you know, they're bringing back Brian Kendrick and shit like this. It shows you that they're getting desperate, you know. Oh, my God, Tajiri's back. Okay, but, like, they released him, like, what, 15 years ago or something? But they have to bring back Tajiri. Shit like this, you can see that they're running out of stars there, you know? All the new stars that they bring when they try to push these new guys, the only thing that happens is the ratings go down, you know? And the ratings keep going down, and I don't know if like this, this whole wrestling industry and everything. I, I mean, it's, it's not what it used to be there. That's for damn sure. You know, there used to be lots of people watching Raw, and it went from you know four million to two something million viewers pretty fast you know so it's going down at a rapid rate so and tna isn't indestructible you know or a wwe isn't an indestructible they might end up with tna ratings down the line you know that's that could be why they have the network if the shows end up going out of business they're still gonna have their network but you know i mean look at this here you got clash of champions right then you have no mercy same crap all over again then you got hell in the cell which is probably gonna have one hell in the cell match right yeah that's that's actually a day before Halloween, so I don't even think people watch that either. People actually have to get ready for Halloween and shit. I don't think people have time to watch that crap. Then you got NXT ta uh, NXT Takeover in Canada, um, which is in Toronto. Then you have Survivor Series, which is a pay per view. I always hated. I never liked Survivor Series. Then TLC, then Roadblock, then eventually Royal Rumble, and the, the, the they only need to do one thing. WJ, right? Only one goddamn thing I wanted them to do is get rid of Fastlane, right? But apparently it still needs to be announced. It still needs to be announced. But at this point in time, they're still going to be doing Fastlane. I want Fastlane to be replaced and have the Elimination Chamber. Just do, That's please. It doesn't matter what they call the pay-per-views. Fuck, nothing happens on these shows now. You know, what's going to be the big matches in the future there? Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn. They're a main event of a lifetime, you know? Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler. Headlining the SmackDown pay-per-view. There's even talk that they want the women to headline shows. Like, you know, I understand they're on this kick there with the women, but uh, who's, you know, hey, you want to come over tonight, man? It's it's Becky Lynch versus the returning <laughs> Candice Michelle headlining No Mercy, guys. Oh my God, Candace Michelle's back. This is the biggest show of all time, guys. You know, oh we got fucking uh, Rusev <laughs> against some jobber in the main event, or the sub main event there. Bailey and Sasha Banks headlining Survivor Series there. I'm, I'm so I mean, excited for the future of this company. You know, I feel absolutely like in my heart, the best thing to do is to walk away. You know what I mean? This whole thing that we come back every week and it's just not worth it anymore. Like at least in the PG era, it was bad. A lot of us wanted to stop, but... At least we had stuff, you know, CM Punk, shit like this. Now there's nothing, you know. 
You yeah, might get Br Bray Wyatt versus Johnny Gargano or something. <laughs> that's that's going to be a match at a pay-per-view in a couple of years, you know? Oh, my God, world heavyweight champion Cesaro, folks. <laughs> They're going to end up doing Cesaro and Sheamus down the line as a main event. You know what I mean? At least they can put a belt on Bray Wyatt, at least, on SmackDown, Brian. Like, at least, for God's sake, the guy's been in, what, the main event roster for fucking how long and has not won. The only titles he's won is that Florida championship belt twice, the tag team belt. He's only won that twice, other as Husky Harris. But the Bray Wyatt, what Bray Wyatt character has not won championship. I think, uh, yeah, because I don't even think he won the t the tag belts in the main roster either, because it was actually um, Eric Rodin and Luke Harper. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, complete garbage. Like Mania, I'm telling you right now, Mania might be kind of good this year, although because you might have Cena, Taker, you might have. Fucking Goldberg and Brock, or maybe Brock versus Rock, or I don't know, something like that. But at the end of the day, now I think that we're just going to have this card now on Mania. That's what my greatest fear is, you know what I mean? Even Brock, he just comes out now, it's a couple suplexes, and that's it. It's not even good matches anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah. He made Randy Orton bleed, and you know, that's... That's how they end the pay-per-view, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god, there's blood. <laughs> you know, who gives a fuck? Somebody bleeds, we're supposed to mark out there. Fuck this crap. That, that's how sad it is. Their wrestling's gotten so bad that, you know, they think they can promote a big pay-per-view and... All you get is a match that finishes with a, an elbow to the head with a bit of blood. Holy shit. I'm so fucking excited for this there. Fuck. I know, man. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Every oh single God, day. Wait until you get Bobby Roode, Jerry. Oh. You're going to get Bobby Roode yeah. against Sami Zayn on Raw, Jerry. That's that's the stuff of champions right there. I... Don't say <laughs> that. I like Bobby Roode's team song. Glorious. This is great. This is I great. have it on my ringtone. I like to play it on a ringtone. You know, there's no future here. There's no reason to keep watching like 10 hours of terrible programming every week. You know, what for? Just to tell people that I love wrestling. Is that all it would give me this, you know? It's a big fucking joke, man. Big fucking joke. I've never, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. I think it's gotten to the point where just things are just terrible right now in WWE. Respect Harold. the wrestlers, you know what for? Fuck, <laughs> they're just pretending to fight for money. You know? <laughs> I, res I respected wrestlers that were good wrestlers, guys like the Undertaker and st guys like that. You re you res quote unquote respect because they're good for real. You know, I'm not gonna fucking worship. Uh, and and respect jobbers, they're corny motherfuckers that pretend to fight. I'll never turn my back on wrestling. Well, wrestling sucks, fucking dick. You know what I mean? It's terrible. It's terrible, and I've had enough of this fucking shit. There, wrestlers sick. glorifying themselves on Twitter and fans. I was about to say that. Fans getting on their knees and fucking worshipping wrestlers. You're my favorite. I bought your t-shirt. It would mean so much to me if you could retweet me. Oh, my God. And the sad thing is about that is that the actual wrestlers, most some of them or most of them, don't even use their Twitter. They just have a manager to retweet it. And then you just have some fat beardy man in a computer managing fucking Sami Zayn's uh, Twitter, and he just presses retweet, and everyone's like, oh my god, Sami Zayn retweeted me! When it was actually just a manager behind the desk, because these other fucking wrestlers, you know, the, 
And then when they eventually, do, the real wrestlers do go on Twitter, they just talk about the biggest pile of fucking shite I've ever seen in my life. Just promoting WWE 24-7 constantly. I know that's a part of their job and shit. I know that. But um, just literally just worshipping themselves. Like, I travel around the world and that's how I got there, son. Fuck off, you fucking weirdos. Like, you know, bunch of fucking gimps, mate. It's a boring pile of shit show. I don't give a crap what's going on backstage. Fuck your backstage and fuck you. You know what I mean? I mean, why would I be subscribed to the network just to see Holy Fully? Why the fuck oh, would I want to pay a network for that? And for anyone who doesn't know, I have still canceled the network since um, Survivor Series last year. I, I didn't even repay it. Fuck that. I'm not fucking repaying that crap. These guys aren't real stars. Fuck, they're just pretending to fight and they read scripted lines. They're not fucking actors. They're not comedians. Just a bunch of fucking nerds nowadays, like Conor McGregor was saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's true. There, back in the day, you had guys like Scott Steiner and the Macho Man, you know, guys that were cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now you don't have any wrestlers that are cool anymore. They're Kevin Owens, the champion, taking pictures with his buddy from ROH. They're two guys having a sleepover and playing video games. There's nothing cool about that. You know what I'm saying? These aren't guys that, that are larger than life and shit like this anymore. It's a bunch of fucking jobbers there. And I'm sick to death of fucking having to worship jobbers. Oh, Becky Lynch, you deserve it. First of all, she just, she's not a real champ, first of all, and she doesn't deserve anything. She just pretends to fight. She just became a so-called star because she's cute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with deserving anything, you know? Yeah. It's a big pile of fucking bullshit there. I worship the competitors. It doesn't matter what the belt looks like, but buy our title for 600 bucks. Why would people pay big money to buy a fake belt of wrestling? You know what I mean? This whole fucking wrestling genre has, has become a complete fucking joke. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just you know what it is, mate. It's um, it's the the small kind of major the small minority of fans have just taken over an entire show, and they and you know people might say, oh well, that's wrong. Everyone's like, listen, bitches, the ratings have gone down one point eight eight. Then you got a one point nine barely, but even that, the viewership went down. The viewership went down compared to last week. In fact, last week's Raw was the lowest, the the, the lowest non-holiday Raw since 1990, folks. Face the numbers. The numbers don't lie, okay? People don't care anymore. They don't care. And people using football as an excuse. WWE in the past never used football as an excuse. Do you know why? Because they were actually good back then. They were actually, they actually had solid storylines. Storylines, even some, even the terrible storylines um, back then, I would fucking love to have now, because at least they were funny, for God's sake. This crap here, God damn it. And um, the, the, these people, you know, um, turn around saying, you know, well, well, everyone watches it online or whatever, you know. I mean, just look at the, U the WWE YouTube channel. They have, what, how many subscribers, WJ? 14 million? I don't know. They some videos fucking, I mean, I seen Darren Young's video, it barely got a million. In fact, it, I think at one time I seen it, only 60,000 views on it. Some of the videos that were on the WWE um, YouTube thing, it, 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 like even the main show, some of them barely got over 100,000, you know? Like they upload 40 vids a day, it's all fucking garbage, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like they're uploading it. They're uploading it for the sake of just, like, they're uploading crap, and they're producing crap. 
Holy Foley, I don't even know. I don't I haven't watched that show, but just Mick Foley pimping out his daughter. I seen someone in the chat say that. That's basically that's basically what it is. It's 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 ridiculous. It's 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 a joke. The whole goddamn thing is a goddamn joke. And wrestling is well and truly dead here, folks. And a lot of people might say, "Oh well, WWE can do something about it. They can turn it around." No, they've made their bed and they've they've laying it. They can't turn back from this now. They they've already pulled the trigger on this thing. If they were going to reverse it, try and go like kind of do what they did before when they had higher ratings, they'd have to fire most of the goddamn roster and put Zami Zayn in a fucking golf cart and send them off fucking home wherever fucking hole he lives in. All right. If, if, the, if the ratings go down to a point six one day, their uh, USA isn't going to keep that on their network. <laughs> you know what I mean? WWE might end up back on Saturday morning with the kids programming that they love so much. They're they're going to end up on Saturday morning with a. WWE Raw and Nickelodeon <laughs> for, for an hour or something. Please, oh please, subscribe to our network, please. It's going to be that for two hours with Brian Kendrick and the main event. You know what I mean? <laughs> it keeps going it's, the way it's going. Do you know how bad it's gotten on my email? Everything, and I actually got one today. Every single email on my on my private email um that I um that I have it every month it's WWE begging me to go back to the network every goddamn month w look what you're missing you're missing fucking Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship that looks like a belt from Toys R Us like why the fuck would I care why do I care nobody cares about this goddamn crap anymore. And, you know, like I said, like the WJ, you know, I stopped doing, like I did um, a Raw review there, the first one in over two months, all right? I'm struggling to watch this crap. I can't even watch it recorded. That's how bad it is. I can't even skip past this crap. So um, I don't even know where I go from here per personally. I'm probably just going to do maybe other, I'm going to keep doing WWE stuff, you know what I mean, maybe. But I, I don't even know how to do it because I don't even want to watch it. It's pa it's painful to watch. It's just no, so I'm not I'm not gonna watch it anymore. I'll make vids uh, about wrestling stuff that doesn't require me to watch the show. You know what I mean? I'll talk about a bit of news if if something does come up. Uh, there's lots of rants I want to make about the company and wrestlers and shit like this. Like, I figure I can keep it going for a little while, but, yeah, I'm not going to dedicate uh, my whole fucking uh, YouTube channel to wrestling. I'm going to start doing other shit as well, you know? And um, eventually, I'll just drop the wrestling content there uh, once I can run out of shit to say because, you know, like, I figure I can keep it going for a year, maybe giving uh, some kind of wrestling-related vid there and there for my subs there. But, like, I'm not going to fucking torture myself into watching this garbage anymore there. So, I don't know, fuck. One day I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> move on <laughs> completely, you know. I don't know, dude. Usually, between... when I stop watching it, what brings me back to the YWC is making like the vids about it because there's shit that I'm going to want to complain about. So, what I'll do this time is complain about what I want to complain about, this and that. And once I'm completely satisfied and, and uh, you know, then it's going to be goodbye there. But I figure I can stretch it out, the wrestling talk, for the time being, but it's not going to last forever, Jerry. I can't fucking talk about wrestling until I'm 40 years old, <laughs> you know? I don't yeah. even want to watch this garbage anymore, so. But I'll try to put out some a bit of content of wrestling for the time being there. 
Oh, God, I know, it's fucked. Any final things you want to talk about, Jer? Um, uh, yeah, uh, well, <clears throat> just the E-Fed is Raw thing. Um, I'm writing episode three currently now, so if you guys want to check it out, um, we're going to have some funny shit, um, and uh, definitely check it out, because um, it's more fucking entertaining than Raw right now. <laughs> That's E-Fed is Raw. Just type that in on YouTube and you'll find it. E Fed is raw. So, yeah, fuck WWE, fuck WWE Clash of Champions, fuck watching Raw on Monday. I'm done with this fucking garbage. I'll make vids as long as I can for you guys there until I run out of shit to say about wrestling. But, yeah. Definitely not watching the show on Sunday or any other fucking shows. I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. It's time to free ourselves, people. We don't need to watch fucking 10 hours of shit garbage wrestling every week. You know what I'm saying? You've been watching it for a long time. So what? Fuck. This is like going to prison for 25 years. And then staying in prison because you're used to it and you've been there for a long time, you know? Fuck staying in prison, Jerry. I want my fucking freedom, yeah. damn it. There's other things in life that we can look at and talk about. And, you know, there's people with that mentality. If something isn't about wrestling, then it's no good. It's trash. And, it's not important. They think that wrestling is the main, most important thing in life. And it isn't. It's a pile of fucking garbage now. You know, ju not, not just because it's fake, but because it sucks. You know what I mean? No point in still watching pure fucking garbage every week there. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's all I got to say there. Fuck this pay-per-view. Fuck it. Fuck WWE as a whole. Fuck everybody. Fucking this <laughs> company. They can all fuck themselves. They're all boring now. <laughs> Until next time. Peace.